Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be taking all the circle theorems we looked at last video and we'll be going through some examples so you actually know how to implement them. Leslie's back and she's going to be showing you how to do this. Slightly harder question where we might have to find some different angles along the way. We're going to first of all start off by finding the angle BAC. So the angle from B to A to C, go from B up to A, down to C, the angle BAC is the angle I have just marked. Now, if you look at the diagram where you go from B to O to C, there you have an angle at the center and use the same chord, B to A to C will be your angle at the circumference. So using the theorem that the angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference, Angle BAC will be 76 degrees divided by 2, which is 38 degrees. Secondly, we're going to find the angle OBA. So the angle OBA is the angle from O to B and then up to A. It's this small angle I've just marked there. And the way I'm going to do it is to find the angle O, B, C, and take away the angle A, B, C. So let's do it in two stages. The angle from O to B to C is actually in an isosceles triangle. The triangle goes from O to B, along to C and back to O again. And the line from O to B is a radius and the line from O to C is a radius, so both those sides are the same length. So we have an isosceles triangle where the angles at the base are the same as each other. So to find them, we have to take the 180 degrees, take away the 76 degrees, and then divide our answer by two. So 180 minus 76 is 104 divided by two, is 52 degrees. So the angle OBC, the one I just marked there, is 52 degrees. Then I'm going to find the angle ABC and the angle ABC is, well I've just drawn the zigzag, that little bit there. So it's the angle from A to B to C. Right, this is a more difficult theorem to use. The angle ABC is the angles in the alternate segment. If you look at the diagram that we've got, the line from A to D is a tangent. There is a chord from A to C. So the 42 degrees which we are given is trapped between the chord AC and the tangent AD. So that's going to be equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So from the chord AC, join from C to circumference and A to circumference, then the angle we're going to find is the angle ABC. So that angle is equal to 42 degrees. Quite a hard one to spot that one, but when you have a diagram with a tangent, it is one of the circle theorems you need to look out for. So to find the actual angle that we want, angle OBA is now OBC, which is 52 degrees, minus ABC, which is 42 degrees. So the angle we want is just 10 degrees. The last question in this little video is that one circle theorem we haven't used at all so far. It's very distinctive because in this one, we're not given any angles. We are just given lengths. And there are two chords which cross so we're going to be using the intersecting chords theorem. And the intersecting chords theorem says AX multiplied by XB is equal to CX multiplied by XD. AX is the length we want to find. XB is nine centimeters. CX is six centimeters. And XD is three centimeters. So, 9x is equal to 18, divide both sides by 9, x is equal to 2, so the x is just 2 
centimetres. <laughs>